OMG, you're seriously getting married, Maxi? You're already 36. What's the point of doing that so late? <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find someone at this age either. But it's okay. I'm not worried about age. No way. It's bad luck to get married that old. He's probably been married before, right? There are so many stories of ex-girlfriends going mad and attacking women. Or even killing them to get their lover back. Yeah. Didn't someone try and attack you before you got divorced? I get you're worried, but I really don't think that's going to happen to me. It's not as common as you think. Yes, but I'm fine. I can handle myself. I could have beat her in a fight anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get married no matter what. So please don't try and scare me with these stupid horror stories. It's not changing my mind. Why would you even want to marry a man like that? He is boring. He's got as much personality as a blank piece of paper. And he works in some boring office too, right? Like, what are you guys even going to do all day? <laughs> That's fine by me. I don't want an exciting life. I want to settle down with someone calmer, like him. He's just my type, actually. Ew, that's gross. You're like an old grandma and grandpa in a retirement home. <laughs> you seriously don't want to do anything fun? I know you're old, but sitting around sunbathing all day sounds super lame. What's the point of living if you're just sitting there? I don't really like going on adventures or anything like parties. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I much prefer staying at home and relaxing than going to nightclubs or something. You're probably gonna have a boring wedding too, right? If you don't like fun, I doubt you're gonna want a huge venue or dancing or anything. <laughs> you're probably just gonna go to some old people church by yourselves. Well, we will have a wedding. Ever since I was little, I always dreamed about having a nice wedding. And besides, Don said he really wants to see me in a traditional dress. Don't spend too much money. It'll just be wasted. You'll probably be divorced pretty soon after you move in together, so using all your cash on it is stupid. I'm not getting a divorce. Not every relationship goes the same way yours did, Taylor. Are you trying to say I did something wrong? Don't drag my past into this. None of it was my fault. You're acting like you're better than me. No, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. That's not what I was trying to say, I swear. You didn't support me at all when I got divorced. I bet you were secretly judging me too, weren't you? And yet you can't see why I'm upset at all. I'm just trying to do what's best for you. You're just completely ignoring me and acting like I'm the bad guy. No, I didn't mean that. We've been friends since high school, for God's sake. Don't you think I know you at least a little bit? And you should know me too. I'd feel absolutely miserable if I had to go see your wedding. You know that. I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. I thought that since it's been a couple years since your divorce, you wouldn't be upset over it. It doesn't take just a few years to get over something like that. He was cheating on me the entire time we were together. I'll never recover. I understand. It's a hard thing to go through. I wouldn't be able to accept it either. It's okay. I'll make sure not to send you an invitation or talk to you about it. That should help, right? Huh? No, I want to go. What? Are you sure you should? Of course I will. I might be able to meet someone there, you know? You want to meet someone? Yeah, of course. Someone who will take care of me, spoil me, someone rich. Do you want to try getting married again? Of course. I'm not going to just sulk and be alone forever. I need to go out there and make a life. I won't be dragged down by that man forever. Oh, that makes sense. If I find anyone there that would be a good husband, I'll take him. I won't waste time. We can get married right away. So could you do me a favor, girl? Make sure to seat me around a bunch of hunks. Preferably single ones, obviously. Huh? I'm not into cheating. I don't want to be near any men who already have wives. Or around your older family. That's weird. 
If there's any single, handsome, and rich men there, please make sure I'm around them. Okay? Uh, okay. I'll have a think and see what I can do, I guess. But all of Don's friends are his co-workers. So they're gonna work in the same office job and have the same sort of personality. Would you want that? Of course! He graduated from Harvard, right? I'm sure his friends had to do the same to get a job with him. Oh, you remember that? I don't think you've ever even met him. I'm surprised you know stuff like that. You've got a good memory. If they've all got good degrees, then they'll be rich now. Or at least somewhere down the line. Might even be a manager or assistant or something. Oh, okay. Do you want to sit with them? Save me the best seat possible. Pretty please. I don't know if any of his friends are rich or in higher positions, though. I'll have to ask Dom before I can let you know. Oh, and I won't be bringing gifts or anything. And if there's a fee for the entry, I won't pay it. Oh. What? That's fine, right? I mean, uh... Is there something wrong? We're best friends. You really gonna make me give you a present to see you get married? Well, no, but it's a wedding. It's not just seeing each other. It's something special. I don't have a lot of money. I'm living on my own after all. Unlike you, I don't have a man to support me anymore. So be a good friend and make some exceptions for me, yeah? This is a good chance for me to find someone. I might even be able to make it up to you later down the road. I didn't even invite you yet. This is my perfect chance to get a good guy. I have to come. And I'm gonna need to use my money for a good dress and a new haircut. I wanna look good. I guess that makes sense. So please don't make me spend money on gifts. I need all the money I can get. Anyway, I gotta go to the store and get some makeup and prepare myself. My name is Maxie, and I'm 36 years old. Currently, I work in a small office and have been there for years. Until recently, I never really had any sort of relationships. I guess I wasn't interested. MN never came up to me, so it just didn't happen. But one year ago, I met my soon-to-be husband when he was introduced to me at work. Don is a very sweet man. He's kind, caring, very hardworking. He's perfect. And we both get along so well, since we have similar personalities. So, only half a year after we met, he proposed to me. And now next month, we are going to have the wedding of my dreams. Taylor is my best friend who I've known since high school. Nowadays, because of our busy lives, we only really have time to text. She is very energetic, strong-headed, and isn't afraid to be herself. She's the type of woman guys love. The type of woman I wish I could be like. Three years ago, Taylor started to work at some big shot company where she met her ex-husband. They got married pretty quick too, if I remember correctly. But it only lasted about a year, if that. Apparently, her ex-husband had been cheating on her, so she quickly filed for divorce. I know how hard the divorce was for her, and it left her with basically no money and no family to turn to. I felt awful for bringing up my marriage so soon after this all happened to her. But I have a way I can make it up to her. By bringing her to my wedding, she can get seated near all of Don's friends, and maybe even find a new man. That was the plan, anyway. But just before my wedding, something happened. Taylor did something unthinkable right before my big day. Thanks for coming to the rehearsal dinner today. Sorry we didn't talk much. I've been so busy with everything going on. Also, any chance you know what happened to my dress? Your dress? Why would I know? I can't seem to find it. I haven't seen it since you've been here. I have no idea. Why are you asking me? I didn't show anyone the dress after you. And as far as I know, no one else was in my room. So I just thought there wasn't anybody else I could ask. Huh. Interesting. You are trying to say I did something? I was just wondering if you knew anything, that's all. I can't believe this. 
You're seriously asking your best friend if I stole your stuff? Well, no. I might be wrong, so that's why I was asking. Sorry if you felt like I was attacking you. I do know where it is, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Where is it? I have a more important question for you. Why does your dress look exactly like my beautiful one? Huh? I was supposed to be the only one in blue. It was gonna make me stand out. And besides, blue isn't your color at all. So you can't wear it. My ceremony is in two days. Why are you so mad about this all of a sudden? Well, you can't wear it, and that's final. I'm sorry, but I'm going to wear it. It's the dress I chose, and it's the one I'm wearing. You can't. Actually, I burned it, so you literally can't. <laughs> what? It's pretty charred. Not a lot left of it, TBH. But if you insist, I guess you can wear it. It's black now anyway, so it's solved my problem. <laughs> You're joking, right? After I burned it, I tossed it in your doghouse. Please just tell me this is a big joke. Before I went home, I went upstairs and threw the dress out the window. Then I went outside and burned it up real good. Your dog wouldn't leave it alone after that, though. I guess it smelled good. So I just threw it in the doghouse for him. It's only good as an old rag blanket for a dog anyway. <laughs> Why would you do something like this to me? Because your dress looks just like mine. We can't match. It will take the attention off me. You should have done what you were supposed to do and got a normal white dress. That's what brides are supposed to wear anyway. I wanted a white dress, but I chose different so that we wouldn't look the same. So can you kindly leave the colorful, nice dresses to me, please? Go get yourself a normal, plain, white one. You don't get to decide what I wear to my own wedding. You've been an idiot since high school. You always need me to tell you what to do. You should have been able to figure it out yourself. If you could just use your brain for once, I wouldn't need to tell you what to do in the first place. It's all unfair. I am the perfect woman. I'm calm and funny. I always bought whatever my husband wanted at the store and always made amazing dinners. It's not fair. You can't do anything like that. Why are you being like this? I thought we were friends. Friends? With someone like you? We've been friends since high school, just like you said. Why would you talk to me if we weren't friends? I just kept you beside me for appearances. <laughs> You're boring and have no sense of fashion. So when you sit next to me, it makes me look even better. <laughs> Don't act like we've been besties or something. I only needed you to help me look nice. No. But you were saying we were friends just the other day? Guess I lied. <laughs> you always cooked for me too, so I thought it would be good to let you stick around, since you were doing stuff for me. But you're just so dull. I'm tired of it. I can't take it anymore. I really thought we were friends. After your divorce, I tried to see you a lot more. I thought we got closer. I felt really bad for you. What? Do you want me to feel bad for you in return or something? I'd rather be friends with a cockroach. <laughs> I really did think we were friends. I didn't think you were stupid enough to wear the same color dress as me, though. You managed to surprise me with your stupidity once again. How was I supposed to know what you were wearing? You didn't tell me anything. It's not like I could have done it on purpose. If you came over to see my dress like you should have, then you would have known. I would have happily showed you. Not to hang out with you, just so you continue to do stuff for me. <laughs> I deserve happiness, and I'm not letting someone like you get in the way. I didn't want to see your dress until the ceremony. I thought it would be a nice surprise. You didn't even ask if that's what I wanted, though. You only were thinking of yourself, as usual. I'm not letting you go off and get happily married and leave me in the dust. I deserve it, too. Honestly, the new dress suits you better. It's boring, dull, and dark. <laughs> 
just like you. Please don't say things like that. You should be thanking me. <laughs> no one's ever had a wedding in a dress like that. It's your time to shine and show off the latest new fashion design. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the wedding, especially now that I'm certain we won't be matching. I hope I'll be able to find a suitable man to be my future husband. Of course, I hope he's loaded too. Um, how the heck did you get a new dress so quickly? Actually, that was my mother-in-law's dress she wore for her own wedding. At first, I was worried it would be a bit too flashy for me, but after I tried it on, I really liked it, so she let me borrow it. Your mother-in-law gave you her dress? Yeah. We're about the same height and size, so it fit me pretty well. It only needed a few adjustments done to it. She kept it because of the memory she attached to it, but she had no idea it would come in handy like that. Stop lying. There's no way an old woman had something that pretty laying around. Just yesterday, she rushed over here to give it to me, since you ruined my dress. I'm actually happy with how it turned out. I feel like I have a closer relationship with my new family now, and I really like the dress. And it's all thanks to you. Are you serious? Don't act all mushy with me. I don't need your stupid appreciation. Did you happen to meet anyone at the wedding? Any men there that you fancied? Of course there wasn't. Why not? I made sure all the single men were sitting next to you. All of them were my ex-husband's old friends. I'm not talking with any of them. Well, I didn't try to do that. It's just that those were the only single men who were attending. They were rude to me even at my own wedding years back. Well, I just figured it would be okay as long as they were single. You never know. You might have been able to hit it off with them. No, there was zero chance of that happening. Why not? Uh, it's got something to do with my divorce. Could it be that it wasn't your husband cheating that caused the divorce, but you who was being unfaithful? Why would you know that? Those guys were at the wedding because they're Don's friends, of course. So after the wedding, they told him all about what you had been up to. I had no idea our husbands were connected like that. <laughs> I heard you also used all of your ex-husband's savings before you left, right? And you got his leftovers after the divorce, which you've been using to pay your rent. Well, uh... And then after the divorce, you apparently stalked him for a bit? That's what they said anyway. You didn't want to lose him, so you busted into his office and caused a scene. You ended up getting kicked out and you're never allowed back in. What a wild ride. Very different from what you told me, don't you think? Of course I came back. I had to leave him because he cheated on me. But I didn't have any money, so I couldn't just let him abandon me completely. So I offered him a second chance. But he told me he refused to get back together and that he was done with me. But he didn't cheat. I already found out the truth, so drop the act. Well... I can't believe you're so bold, though. Trying to ask someone you cheated on to help support you after what you did? It's not my fault. I didn't have money, so there was nothing else I could do. And he screwed me over. He only gave me like $5,000 in the divorce. $5,000? Yeah, that's it. What good is that? What did you use it on? That's easily a couple months' rent. Well, uh, I decided to go shopping to treat myself after all the stress I went through. I bought a few new handbags and stuff. And before I knew it, I was out of money. How shocking. Look, let's get off this topic. You owe me anyway. I didn't meet anyone at that stupid wedding, so you need to pay me back. What? You promised me I'd meet someone and I didn't. And it's all your fault. And now I don't have anyone rich to help me, so I need your money for my rent. It's only fair since you failed at your job. What? Or you can still find me a husband, maybe? I'll take yours at this point. I don't care. <laughs> I thought he was a regular office worker, but he's one of the higher-ups now, right? So I'm sure he's got enough money for my liking. 
It might not be the rich life I wanted, but I could at least afford a place to live. Do you really expect me to agree to that? Why not? You kind of suck anyway. No offense. You're useless at most things, and I'm prettier than you. So he'd probably be happier if he comes with me anyway. <laughs> Look, we already decided we were right for each other and are married. Besides, he likes me because I'm calm and we get to live a relaxing life. He isn't going to want someone like you who loves partying and spending money. Well, maybe not at first, but we're besties, so you can introduce me, right? He'll learn just how amazing I am eventually. Oh, so we're friends again now? Only when it suits you, though, I see. What do you think? It works for both of us. Don't act like I'm cruel. If you didn't have me, you'd be lonely and depressed. <laughs> you would have had no friends in school. I don't consider you a friend anymore, Taylor. So I'm not doing you any favors. Why are you being so selfish? It's not fair that you get to be super happy and get all this stuff without me. I deserve it, too. You don't get happiness by stealing it from others. You need to find a way to make your own, or it's never going to happen. Oh, stop lecturing me. I don't care. Oh, and I got something to say about the dress, too. That's not important right now. I was really looking forward to wearing that dress that you destroyed. Who cares? You wore that old woman's dress instead, so it's fine. You said you liked it. Well, it did work out in the end, yes. But after the wedding, I still felt really upset about it. So I filed a police report for property damage. You what? Don and his mother are a lot angrier than I am, so they agreed and urged me to do so. There's also a file for theft, so it's two things. No, you didn't. You must be joking. I'm 100% serious. I went down to the station earlier to report it. But doesn't that mean they're gonna want to talk to me? Are they gonna come find me? I assume so, yeah. I said I want my money back for the dress you burned, as well as money for emotional damage caused. Oh, and of course, money for ruining my doghouse. What? I can't afford that and you know it. And why the doghouse? I didn't do anything to it. Why do I have to pay for that? Well, it's full of soot now. It's not good for him to go in there. It might hurt his chest. So unfortunately, we had to throw it out. Well, that's not my fault. He's a dumb animal. If he doesn't like it, that's his own stupid problem. I'd appreciate it if you cooperate and work as hard as you can to pay me the money you owe. But we're friends, right? I mean, we've been together since high school. So please just drop the charges. You know, I always did think we were best friends. I wanted to be like you, actually. You were always so energetic, cheerful, and headstrong. I thought if I were like you, I wouldn't have been alone for so long. But that doesn't mean I'm letting you walk all over me. I'm not being friends with someone who is trying to ruin my happiness and doesn't care about me. But it's a really bad time for me to get arrested right now. Is there ever a good time? Well, my ex-husband already filed a restraining order against me. Yeah, because you stormed into his office building, right? We're still in the middle of the trial for that. Oh, Lord. Please just drop the report for now. I can't handle both of these things. And if they come for me, my fate is sealed. I can't pay for all of this. Getting arrested isn't so bad, is it? They feed and house you for free. Might be good for you. I'm sorry. Look, I'll apologize. Please forgive me. I just was sick of living so poor like this. I wanted someone rich. I don't have any money. I can't pay you. What do I do? Please help me. I am so sorry. I don't want to lose my house. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> In the end, the police managed to track Taylor down and arrest her. While well, she wasn't sent to jail, she was ordered to pay me back for the dress and the doghouse. It's quite a lot of money, so she'll be working nonstop for the rest of her days, it seems. Would you be able to stay friends with someone like that? Someone who drowned in their own jealousy so much they ruined their best friend's happiness like that. 
For me, at least, I can never go back to her. It's time for me to start my new married life with my amazing husband. We'll spend the rest of our days lazing around, sunbathing, and not going out anywhere crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. See you next time.